In an indictment made public last Wednesday, prosecutors in Manhattan accused Avenity, 48, of stealing about $300,000 from Daniels to fund an extravagant lifestyle, including a Ferrari automobile, after helping her secure a book contract. The new charges came on top of two separate criminal cases Avenity already faced. The plea was followed by a brief hearing before U.S. District Judge Deborah Batts, who has been assigned to oversee the case for trial. Avenity said at the hearing that he planned to retain a private lawyer. I just have not had an opportunity to finalize that arrangement yet, he said. After the hearing, Avenity declined to comment on the case. Daniels, whose real name is Stephanie Clifford, was paid $130,000 from Trump's former personal lawyer Michael Cohen shortly before the 2016 presidential election to keep quiet about an affair she said she had with Trump in 2006. The president has denied having had sex with Daniels. Avenity represented Daniels in lawsuits related to the hush money and later in negotiating a book deal. Daniels' book, Full Disclosure, was published in October. Prosecutors said Avenity diverted to $148,750 installment payments from Daniel's $800,000 book advance by forging her signature in a letter to her literary agent and directing that the money be sent to his bank account. Prosecutors said Avenity eventually paid $148,750 to Daniel's after obtaining the money from another source, but lied when she asked where the second payment was. Avenity told Daniels the publisher owes me a payment and that he was on it, prosecutors said. Daniels has not received that payment, prosecutors said. She dropped Avenity as her lawyer earlier this year. Avenity was arrested in March and charged by prosecutors in Manhattan with trying to extort more than $20 million from Nike Inc. by threatening to expose what he called its improper payments to recruits for college basketball teams it sponsored. He is expected to be arraigned on those charges in federal court in Manhattan later on Tuesday. Nike has denied wrongdoing, and helped prosecutors before Avenity's arrest. At the same time, Avenity was charged by prosecutors in Los Angeles with stealing millions of dollars from clients to pay for personal and business expenses and lying to the Internal Revenue Service and a Mississippi bank about his finances. He has pleaded not guilty to those charges. Before his arrest, Avenity was a fixture on cable news channels as an outspoken critic of Trump, and briefly toyed with running for president in 2020. Michael Cohen is about three weeks into a three-year prison term after pleading guilty to campaign finance violations related to the hush money payment to Daniels and other financial crimes.